With the rise of digital streaming platform providers like DistroKid and TuneCore and trendy sync licensing agencies and influencers, it seems like musicians, especially music producers, have more power, more influence, and more control over their music and the way they make income. However, with all those positives, unfortunately comes job insecurity, potential financial instability, and the ever-increasing cost of expensive plugins and gear. So it begs the question, is it still worth being a music producer in 2024? And I'm going to answer that with a story. Back in 2022, I decided to quit music. For eight years of my life, the better part of my 20s, I was releasing singles, collaborating with other artists, and posting regular content on YouTube. And some major life changes forced me to shift my perspective and move away from music. I got engaged, I bought my first apartment, I even got my first salary job at a nonprofit organization. But with all those really exciting highs, came some really tragic lows. Because in March 2024, I unceremoniously left my nonprofit salary job. I even got a concussion and my computer of over 10 years broke down on me. And now with nothing to lose, let's go for a round, I forgot what number, and try to pursue music once again. The coincidence and alignment of all these events was, in my opinion, the universe's way of giving me an opportunity too good to pass up. Now back to the question at the beginning of the video, is being a music producer worthwhile? My answer is yes but under certain conditions. For most of my career, I solely did music and that proved detrimental because I wasn't diversifying my income and I was left disappointed and very, very frustrated. So if you want to pursue music full time, I'd highly suggest diversifying your portfolio and diversifying the services you can provide. Because in music production, we develop a lot of transferable skills that can be applied to other areas. For example, audio editing, video editing, content creation, creation or music production's really cool cousin DJing. Another huge thing to consider is if you are financially but not only that also emotionally stable and supported enough to pursue this career. Everyone always tells us that the music industry is gritty and unforgiving but it's sad to say it is really true. And you are going to be facing rejection <laughs> more times than you'd like. And being in a gig based industry, it's really unfortunate, but there will be times where you will not be making money, especially in the beginning. I have been really blessed to have both a family and a partner that are able to support me in multiple ways when I just hit rock bottom. And believe me, if these two years have proven, I've been there more than once. And if you feel that you are not financially or emotionally stable enough to take on this career, then nobody will blame you for it, or at least they shouldn't. And don't be ashamed of getting a part-time job, a nine to five, so you can support your five to nine. Because believe me, it will help alleviate that stress of finances when they start to creep up. Anyways, those are my thoughts based off my experiences, but please let me know yours. Comment below. Do you think that music production is a worthwhile career or should everyone just give up, grow up, and get a salary job. But if you are considering music production as a full-time career, please subscribe and watch some of my past videos right over here where I share music production tips. I make music under the alias Microwave, and I'm super excited and honestly a bit scared of going on this journey, but I'm going to be documenting it and releasing way more tutorials. And also a huge shout out and a huge thank you to everyone who has stayed subscribed and has stuck around with the channel despite me not releasing any content for two years. And a big welcome to everyone joining in for round two. This has been Microwave, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.